crazy how like a lot of scary stuff always happens in Mexico. Oh, like always, bro. Right? Like you could talk to your friends, like, hey, you guys experience blah blah blah. No, never. But you could talk to your grandma, your aunt, your tia, mm-hmm. tío, whoever. And they always have a story about whenever they were young. Always. Right? Story about everything. Like Witches, duendes, ghosts, devils. Yeah. Everything started over there. Like it's everything, weird. bro. That's crazy. Like one of the Why? one of the stories like that um that I know of is my aunt told us about this a friend of hers that she had. Mm-hmm. And then I remember that her mom told her, Hey, you can't go out tonight. Right? She was like, you know, wanting to go out to the club or something that she got invited to. But uh her mom was like no there's no way you're gonna go it's too late blah blah, blah. Mm. so she goes out she doesn't listen she goes out to the club meets her friends she sneaks out yeah okay. she sneaks out and she's like man yeah, you know whatever whatever i just want to have fun so she goes to the club meets her friends and then she when she was there she meets she meets this one guy that looks like all dressed up really nice looking and everything and she's she's like oh i want to dance with him so she goes and dance with the guy and you know he's you know he's looking good and everything that she looks down she notices there's like goat feet mm-hmm. like really? real weird yeah oh shit so she screams she runs away and she's all scared and that's the story right but i was looking online bro and a lot of people have experienced that same thing like right? a, like a man with yeah. goat feet yeah with goat feet oh, okay and i'm guessing some sort of devil or something like that and that's just way of maybe getting people or mm-hmm. i'm not sure what he why the reason behind that is but it's weird how a lot of people have heard that same story or lived that same thing mm-hmm. right and a lot of the times whenever i used to hear that story it was like oh it's the lesson is don't disobey your parents mm-hmm. and obviously don't talk to strangers yeah. so i'm always thinking like is it is it real is it like something that actually does happen or is it all you know obviously their way of saying hey don't talk to strangers or don't disobey your parents right but the the fact that a lot of people lived it uh-huh. And, and it, it, it's weird because the story originated like a long time ago, like 40 plus years, a long time ago. Mm-hmm. And it's supposedly started like at this one like nightclub called El Camaroncito Nightclub, like in the uh-huh. southern Texas part or something like that. Mm-hmm. And yeah, sure enough, the same thing that happened to my aunt's friend happened to that person. The same thing happened to my mom. I don't know if she ever told you that, but she was the same thing. She was going to the club with my dad. Mm-hmm. They were already dating. They knew each other. So they were going to go to the club. Mm-hmm. And then she told her mom, hey, we're going to go to this club. And her mom was like, no, please don't go there. I don't know if you ever heard of this one. Mm-hmm. She's like, no, please don't go there. It gets really packed. And then it, it gets so crowded. And you shouldn't be there. And this and that. And she was like, come on. We're just going to go for a little bit, for a little bit. And then she um, ends up going with my dad. And then they said when they get there, they saw that the line's really long. Yeah. So they're like, you know what? Let's go across the street to this restaurant just to eat for the line to go down a little bit. Yeah. And then they were eating. And as they were eating, all they see is like a bunch of people running out and, and going crazy and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then it turns out that the something happened inside. Somebody was shooting and all this stuff. Oh. And everybody was like going crazy. And at this time, obviously, my mom doesn't have a phone and all that stuff. So she has to, like, find a way to call her mom. Mm-hmm. But her mom was, like, seeing this in the news. Like, damn. this was happening. She was like, damn, my daughter's there. And they were, like, just a lot of people were dying, obviously. Right. Mm-hmm. And then she was just, like, going crazy. Like, like, what does she do? What does she do? And then my mom was supposed to go there, but she didn't go because she... Wow. she something told her, you know what? Let's just go eat. I don't mm. want to go anymore. Like well, my, And my dad... I remember she's like, my dad was like, come on, let's just go, let's just go, let's just wait. We're about to go in a little bit. And mom was like, nah, I just don't, I don't want to. Mm-hmm. So they go out to eat and they're seeing this across the street. Wow. Yeah. And she's like, damn, we're about to go in there. So damn. then they go home and then my, her mom was like, I guess, relieved that she came home and stuff. That's this is a definitely, big coincidence, yeah. yeah but it, what if she was to go in there and something was to happen or she was to dance with the dead ones? Yeah. You know I mean? no. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's always like, it's always like following your gut. Yeah. Your mom also like, no. don't, don't. If somebody tells you something and you force do it, mm-hmm. it's always going to end up wrong. It's right? kind of the same as when you somebody invites you somewhere. It's it was going to happen Saturday and let's say it's Monday, but you keep thinking about it like, damn, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Yeah. You're planning it. It's never go according to plan. Right. Well, nah. Never. Nah, but you're just supposed to just let it happen. Those mm-hmm. are the times you have the best fun. Mm-hmm. But when you plan stuff in, it's the same thing as disobeying your mom. You're mm-hmm. not that bad. Bring <laughs> <laughs> up a little topic, but uh, yeah. No, but anyways. anyways, talking about my mom, there, there's a story that she had told me, you know, a while back. But mm-hmm. I had to get it renewed. 
because I totally forgot about it. But um, supposedly when she was younger, she used to live in the in the ranch, right? In the mm -hmm. Rancho Allá in Mexico. And um, there's like a whole field of nopales mm -hmm. where they're not supposed to enter, mm -hmm. right? So it's like out of bounds for them, I guess. Mm -hmm. And so there are little kids and her and her brothers and sister and decided to play hide and seek right there in their house in the rancho and then they ended up um she ended up finding everybody except one of her brothers mm -hmm. and she ended up seeing somebody on, where she's not supposed to go where it's like on tampuros like rows of nopales i guess mm -hmm. and she ended up saying all right let me go over there and see if i can find him and she, while she was walking walking she ended up seeing the person from the back mm -hmm. and was was wearing the exact same clothing as the brother wearing. I think it was like a flannel and black jeans or something. And so she she creeped up from behind. And when she said, hey, I got you, she, he ended up turning around. And it was like an like weird face. It was like a like I wouldn't say old guy, but like maybe like a burn face or like scary. something like yeah, something scary. Yeah. And that caught my mom off guard and she just does, like everybody would do she just ran out of there mm -hmm. and her face was supposedly she said that her face was like white because of the scaredness mm -hmm. and then she sees my, uh, her brother coming from like ooh, like somewhere else yeah. was like what's going on like well, why are you scared yeah. and she said that she saw something in in the place and so that area supposedly was owned uh by some woman that they called that she was like a witch or some shit. A bruja or something? Yeah, a bruja or something. That's so, crazy. What if do you believe cast, in that? What if she cast that spell for anybody to go around there? Right? Yeah. Speaking of uh, witches, do you remember this one time where my mom's house shares a, a, a same street with my other aunts? Mm -hmm. And at this time, we were having a, a you could say a block party, mm -hmm. but we're, we're just between our two houses, right? And we were having fun, whatever. And then we see a big bird. You remember that? Yeah. And then my aunt comes out throwing salt and asking, you're supposed to throw salt and tell them to come for your salt. Mm -hmm. And that kind of is a kind of a, a way to reveal yourself. You know, right. hey, reveal yourself. So turns out that the next morning, one neighbor that you can walk to there, but it it's a it's a neighbor she never really even talked to that comes in the early morning asking specifically for salt. Fuck, like really? that's 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 crazy like, like what a crazy that's the craziest coincidence in the yeah. world it's either a big coincidence or she actually like yeah but like, like if you think about gone, it there's no way of like somebody's gonna knock and you don't ask for salt and in early morning for yeah. for whatever reason like who, they don't even know each other first right. of all who doesn't have salt mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. second of all you have so many other neighbors that you've probably seen Mm -hmm. every day compared mm -hmm. to somebody you you never yeah. probably see because mm -hmm. for whatever reason and my mom lives right next door my mom knows her she could have gone to my mom right first. my mom knows her better than my aunt yeah and she goes to my aunt's house i remember whenever i heard this story i was like for sure bro that's proof that, that's yes. witches. Witch? Yes. dude yeah and i remember she used to sell um i don't want to say her name but she used to sell merchandise yeah just like hustling whatever and one time it, this was way after I was driving because we have to drive by her house to get to my mom's house. Right, Obviously, right, I was yeah. still living with my mom. And I seen this little bed that I like that's like a taller bed for my daughter. And I was like, oh, that's nice. Let me stop and see how much it costs. And I remember stopping and I got off and I and I was looking at the bed and she came out. But I, I totally forgot about this story. I'm just like, this is just, nowhere yeah. near in my head. Uh -huh. And yeah. she came out, but she wasn't making eye contact with me. She was like, hey, this and that. She, she said my name. She's like, how's your mom? This and that. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, cool, and this and that. Like, how much is that bed? And she, she, I forget what she was doing, but she wasn't looking at me. And in her arm, she had like a big mancha, like a mm -hmm. stain. Like weird. I've never seen that before. Have you like ever seen red, that before? Like a red stain? I don't, I don't remember what don't color remember, it was. I don't remember, but... How many times have you seen her? A lot of times? Not really, bro, to be honest. No? It's, it's, I don't remember. Well, like, if I little. try to think about her, my mom, I kind of imagine how she looked, but I don't remember. My mom used to always take us when we were young, mm -hmm. and she used to bring us volleys and all that stuff. Yeah. You remember that? I remember yeah. that. But I never noticed this mancha, but she never made eye contact with me. She was always looking to the side. And then that right there, and then I'm like, oh, fuck. I forgot. What? Really? I, I, I remember that 
that what happened what happened it, that she was supposedly a witch and stuff well, what yeah. if that was like her turning from supposedly that bird that y'all saw to her human version so that mancha I don't was know. actually like bird color like maybe a like scar a, or something something i don't know what it was but i remember seeing the, the scar she wasn't looking at me and right there it clicked i'm like oh snap i gotta get out of here <laughs> so, so that, you're thinking so, that it's probably like a cause that happened after she got i don't know what happened the bro. salt you maybe know? But uh, but I remember she she just didn't make eye contact with me, bro, for some crazy That's reason. Weird. And I remember I was like, well, uh, thank you, I, I gotta go. And she kept like 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 no way, it's like like keep trying to talk to me. And my, I saw this black truck pass by. I was like, oh, that's my mom. She's waiting for me. I gotta go. I gotta go. And I just like ignored her and I left. And I got in my car and I just like drove off. Mm -hmm. And I went to my mom. So I was like, damn, what the f I forgot. <laughs> like what if she was trying to what if she was trying to lure me inside yeah, her house you. and then cook you? Oh, nah, yeah. I don't know. Eat me. Put you on that big ass. That's crazy, bro. The yeah. same thing happened to my mom. You mm -hmm. remember that? No. So the story goes that her and whoever she was with were walking through a field mm -hmm. and they see a big bird pass by. Mm -hmm. And one of the guys who she was with shoots him with a shotgun. And oh. you see the bird go down and they yeah. say the same thing. Come for yourself. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the next morning, some guy comes with a with a with an arm cast asking for salt. No what way. the hell, bro? Yeah. It was like, a guy, a, though? I think it was a guy, yeah. Oh. Like, what a crazy-ass coincidence, bro. Dude, I mean, dude. That's confirmed fact. Yeah, that's confirmed deny fact. Yeah, that's confirmed fact. Like, like, what do you do, though? Do you get him salt? You're not supposed to, right? I don't know, man. It's well, crazy. What if you do? You're part of the clan now, I guess. I don't know. What if you get, like, un unlucky, I guess? Not unlucky, bad, bad but luck. But no, no. I'm sure, usually, I'm sure it's just like, like, even if you give it to nothing happens, but it's like confirmation of shit. Sometimes I yeah. feel like my mom's a witch, though. <laughs> Did I never feel like that? Nah. Because, dude, she knows everything, bro. What do you mean? In what sense? Like, as far as like, like let's the say for everything? Whatever crazy reason. Like, let's say I'm 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 doing bad for whatever reason as far as money or whatever. She'll be like, hey, you know, you're doing good? Specifically for money and this and that? Like, yeah. I've never asked for shit. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But she gives me that look like, yeah, I know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or for anything. All my life has been like that. It's just a mother instinct. It's mother instinct. Yeah. Probably. It makes you think like, 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 damn. That's because, like, the thing is, like, she sees that every time she sees you, you're in a good mood. And then one time that you're not, she's like, what what's going on with him? Yeah. So she's not a witch, bro. But <laughs> <laughs> what if what if one day she sits us down and she's like, you know what? Back in the 1600s, uh, mm -hmm. your great, great, great grandmother, Elisa Tovar, she <laughs> sold her soul, this and that, for art. You know what I mean? This is why you never had a broken bone in your life. Have you ever had broken bones in your life? Mm -mm. You? I have. Never, never. Never. Nada. None of us. For have whatever I? reason, maybe something's like how many how many things have happened to Ivan? Mm -hmm. You know what That's I mean? True. Like we're all being guarded. Still here. We're all being <laughs> safe. We're all being protected mentally, physically, everything by this en entity that they have because of the that'd be hey, crazy, that'd be right? Scary shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. She sits us down when she's telling us, and then this is your job to know because. No, I'm gonna to pass this. it to you now. Or yeah. Something. And then like, <laughs> <laughs> crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then you turn into a bird. That'd be badass, right? That'd be crazy. A bird? What type of bird was it though that y'all saw? Was it like a? To me, it was probably one. I don't remember? Have you ever seen? Not those, that y'all saw, but the you story. ever seen those little white birds that land on the water? Yeah, yeah. They're just chilling there. Mm -hmm. It's one of those. Something like that, but bigger, right? Yeah. Was it also white? I don't know. It was kind of grayish. Grayish. I think. grayish? Yeah, it was oh. a grayish, like dirty, right? Kind of like dirty, yeah. Yeah, dirty gray. Don't you ever, don't you ever wonder, like that story you said about my mom mm -hmm. seeing that guy by the nopales? Mm -hmm. Don't you ever wonder what the origin story about that was? Like, what's the Obviously. story of of that? Like, maybe, maybe that lady had a son, and he probably her house burned down, and this guy, her son, got burned, and a whole story. What's the story on that? That he obviously still roams around that area because of whatever reason. Why does he roam there, right? <clears throat> why is he there? I mean, I feel like that's like the question with ghosts. Like, why would you see a ghost? Like, what's the purpose of it? What's his but, origin story, right? Yeah. I like, mean, a movie that I've seen that kind of is kind of in that same uh, idea mm -hmm. is, um, have you guys ever seen Fear Street? Fear Street? No, I haven't. Fear Street is a movie where somebody comes out as far as this guy trying to kill but he's more of like a ghost mm -hmm. and then the next movie is the origin of that guy okay with another ghost that's haunting so or whatever going back and back it's going back there's three movies mm -hmm. that the first movie happens 
there's this guy. The second movie, it's about that guy. So the year is, is the first one's Fear Street, 19 something. Yeah. The next one's 18 something. So it's going back in years. It's going back okay. in time. But then the third one goes forward and it, they're all get combined. But it's showing you the origin story of that guy or what happened to him. Why yeah. is he there? Why is he here? Okay. So that that's kind of like, I, I wonder what's the origin story of that guy. Well, I, I think for this guy, I mean, in my head, I would assume that lady that mm -hmm. owned all of that, that whole land of Nopales. I mean, you never know. What if that guy was a worker that, you know, I guess cuts the Nopales or something. And mm -hmm. then let's just say. He cut it wrong one day and she fucking killed him. May, maybe not cut it wrong, but maybe, you know, so supposed to pay for something or or you know uh didn't have enough money for this or for that whatever it is and she got mad and ended up getting him killed there or or maybe he just died there you know maybe that's he just... crazy dude i really want to like film movies like that i'd be badass like i i want to create stories like that like i, I told you one time that i was um driving down the street yeah and as i'm driving i see this guy making eye contact with me walking this way Mm -hmm. And I'm like, man, I wish I could make a movie where my 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 point of view transitions to oh, him walking, okay. and it kind of re, it kind of rewinds to where is he walking mm -hmm. from and what had just happened to him that it, made him walk this way. And it's like a crazy ass story or something. It's too. a crazy story, maybe. And he's just he just happened to walk by there. Mm -hmm. I had never seen him before, but he's in my same mm -hmm. area. We mm -hmm. we we cross paths and made yeah. eye contact for whatever reason, and the story just kind of reverts back mm -hmm. to wherever he came from. Maybe he just got in a fight with his baby mama because. He found out this and that, and they maybe don't have money. So she, she told him to leave the house. So he's walking. He's real depressed now. He's about to go jump off the bridge or for whatever reason, right? Mm -hmm. And I just happened to walk by. And as he's walking by, he sees um, somebody else or something. And then it switches to his point of view. And it rewinds to whatever he was. And it keeps yeah. going and keeps yeah. going. And at the end, we all kind of come together. That's a great movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I would say that that's, that's a possible movie, right? I mean. I don't know. No, I mean, it doesn't have to be. Maybe they already created one. We just don't know about low budget or something but don't you want to have like a budget like some money where you can create something oh, you're badass i have a lot of like i made up a story uh -huh. yeah i want to hear it it's Go kind of it. something just like a scary since, story or what? since we're in like in the halloween spirit i created this story that it, it i did it like in a few minutes not gonna lie just just i was just thinking about it I'm like oh shit let me write it down mm -hmm. it just came to me real quick you want to hear it Go, Go for, for it, it. <laughs> <laughs> okay good. this one's called fred's dark Okay. No, I'll take that. <laughs> All right. Go so through. Fred is a 29 year old guy who has a dog named Max. Mm -hmm. It's just a common dog name, right? Mm -hmm. No correlation. One day, Fred comes home from work and feeds Max some dog food. He notices that something is off with Max and he's not eating his food. As Fred sits in his couch, he notices Fred just staring at him with a smirk. Like right there. What the fuck, right? <laughs> yeah. The dog? Yeah. He's just like staring at you, like, like laughing and, and just smiling. This yeah. makes Fred feel weird, so he goes and locks him in his cage. Fred then goes upstairs to shower, and while he's in the shower, he notices a, sh a shadow coming towards him in the shape of a huge man. Oh, no. When Fred, Fred goes to pull the curtain back, he sees Max just smirking at him. Fred quickly turns the water off and grabs a towel. In shock, he grabs Max and starts taking him downstairs, wondering how he got out of his cage. Mm -hmm. As he was going down the stairs, Max pulls away from Fred and pushes his Fred down the stairs. Mm -hmm. Oh, Right? Uh -huh. So he got knocked out. He's unconscious. A few hours go by and Fred wakes up as he went unconscious when he hits his head. He notices his entire house is empty oh. and starts uh, and starts crawling around the house to look for his phone. He's mm -hmm. freaking, he's bleeding. He's like still yeah, dizzy or whatever. Like, he's yeah. drunk wrong. Right? He can't find it and he's panicking in pain. He goes to the garage to get his car and when he opens his garage, he notices the smell. The smell is coming from the trash can close to the garage door. He grabs his strength to get up and walk towards it. And when he opens it up, he notices a cane skinned Max. A oh, really? Yeah. It looks like he has been dead for a while. Fred goes into his car and drives off to the emergency room as he's still bleeding from his head. As he lays in the hospital bed, he wonders what the hell just happened. He calls his family and tells them what happened and tells them that he has robbed, he was robbed and all this stuff, right? Mm -hmm. As he lays in the hospital bed, now surrounded by his family and the police officers, confused by his story because he had just told mm -hmm. them what all happened, right. right? They are all come to the conclusion that he was a victim of a home invasion and was pushed down the stairs by one of them. As he screams at them saying that that is not what happened, he has, he gets a notification on his phone from a ring camera and somebody at his front door, uh -huh. right? 
He quickly remembers, oh shit, I got cameras in my house. Let me see what happened. As he mirrors it to the hospital TV with the police and his family watching, the beater starts with Fred's brother Ivan, who has a spare key, comes inside the house and starts attacking Max. He then skins Max and wears his fur <laughs> as a jacket and disposes of the corpse of the garage. He then waits for Fred to get home and you know the rest. After he pushes Fred from the stairs, he calls his friends to come and help him empty the house. Everyone then quickly looks around the room to look at Ivan and he's no longer there. To be continued. Hey. So it was Ivan yeah. dressed as a dog <laughs> the whole time? It was his brother Ivan wearing his fur. Oh my God. First of all, that was a great story. For real? Yeah, I, I actually enjoyed it a lot. Uh -huh. um that's that's a weird thing because this guy ivan yeah no correlation <laughs> how, yeah yeah but how tall is he <laughs> he's fighting a fucking dog he's about yay <laughs> that's weird because i mean like what did you kind of see your dog and be like hold up you know what <laughs> yeah I mean? that's exactly how he felt this parent oh, look friend, right. 29 year old yeah with her dog was your dog name Max? Oh, uh, no correlation. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's my name? Ivan? Um, ah, but I don't I mean, know why. I just, I just thought about the story. Like, no, I get minutes. the story and it's, it's actually a really good story. But I'm still thinking about like, imagine seeing your dog and your... Yeah, something's you know I mean? rough. Yeah. I mean, first of all, your dog's going to be like... Whoa, 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 whoa. He's not going to yeah. be fucking just standing there. I mean, sitting there just smirking at you. A dog doesn't do that. <laughs> He'll be barking, getting all up on you and shit. Um, yeah, but that's funny, bro. All right, guys, that was it for episode 12. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. And special shout out to my young cousin, uh, Jacob. He ended up giving me a personal phone call at, when I was at the gym, which mm -hmm. was really cool. Just telling me that he enjoyed all the videos that we've been making mm -hmm. and he's uh, subscribe and support. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Anything else? Yeah, I mean, just hopefully you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you guys next episode. Episode 13. Yes, sir. Peace. Peace.